Good afternoon, y'all. Happy Monday. Um, y'all, I'm leaving my neighborhood and I just see everybody with those glasses on because today is the solar eclipse. Like, there's people standing outside my house, I guess, because there's a better angle. And it's just like so awkward. But I just went about my business. I am headed to go, y'all don't judge, but I'm headed to go pick up another Sephora order because you know the whole um, spring savings event sale. Then I gotta go to Target real quick because y'all gonna think I'm extra, but I am headed to Houston tomorrow to get my hair done. So y'all see the whole process of that. Last vlog, y'all see me get my hair washed and blow dry because I think you have to come wash and blow dry. It didn't say anything on her site about coming wash and blow dry, but I just wanted to be uh, prepared. Cause it'd be better to come wash and blow dry and I need it done than to not come wash and blow dry. Wait, it'd be better to come wash and blow dry if I was supposed to come wash and blow dry to did not come wash and blow dry and then I needed to be washed and blow dry. If you get what I'm saying. So yeah, if she washes my hair there, cool, bet. She's one of them styles that still do it these days. Shout out to her, she does. But, um, yeah. So that's that, I'll see y'all later. Y'all, so I'm headed to this for all these people are out here just looking, and I was walking to the girl, I was like, do you have glasses? And she just gave them to me. That's fire. Oh, y'all, Dante's on the phone. <laughs> but I'll see y'all later after I get the order. Y'all, look how this looks. This is crazy. You want to get off the phone with me? It's fine. Just call me back. Y'all, they're cheering. I'm weak. Y'all, this is crazy. It literally looked like it's nighttime here. We have everybody just looking. And me just waiting to get my Sephora order. All right, y'all. So I got the goods. I'll show y'all what I got. When I get back home, I'll see y'all there. Hey y'all, so I'm back home. While my lunch is in the air fryer, I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Sephora. And y'all, I cleaned up my office today. It looks so good in here. Cause y'all only see what's like, y'all don't see what's around me or if y'all my from like under the vanity, y'all didn't see that. But it looks so good in here. So y'all, you know how the other day I was saying something about makeup by Mario brushes? I got I, I got the wrong ones, but I'm still gonna use those other ones. Cause I look back on TikTok about people's uh must-haves or stuff that they're getting for the sale. It was an M no an F4 brush. So I got two of these. They say you can use it for every step in your makeup routine. So I'm excited about using these. Uh because today is the last day for like rouge to like be the only people getting it. So after today, everybody else is gonna be able to use their discount. I think it's VIB. No, is it? Yeah, it's VIB next. So like you had to get in and get what you can before everybody else can be able to use because I feel like it's gonna get cleaned out. But today I had got the um, Airbrush Flawless Foundation. People kept talking about this foundation and what they um, used. I know I just got NARS the other day. And y'all know how I said I couldn't pronounce the shade? The guy said it in the store is Iguaku. That is the ugliest. Like, that's how you pronounce this. Iguaku. Ew. Like, uh, but I got it in 15 neutral. This uh, shade. I'm excited to try this out. Because like I said, yes, I got that foundation the other day. But this is the perfect time to try things out when it's a sale. So... And obviously the airbrush uh, setting spray. I already have one, but y'all, look at it. Y'all, this is the size I have. Imagine traveling with this shit and look, at, look how much I use it. This is 6.7 fluid ounces. So even if like I wanted to have it in the carry-on, I can't because it's over the limit. So I got me a travel size, needed that. Uh, I got their bronzer. I wanted to try it out because I use uh, one size bronzer right now, but this is what they have in it. I feel like this one is too dark. This one is just right, but I still wanted to try this one out. And I'm trying to do all 
the uh, face products. Why Laura Mercier is in here, I don't know because I did not buy this. Hold on, let me see if it was in my order because it's going right back. I don't know where he picked this up from. It probably was already sitting on the counter because he did charge me for it. So it was going right back. He probably seen it sitting on the counter and thought it was mine because one, this is a pickup order already, like I told y'all. And then when I got in the store, I, I brought some more stuff. So maybe he thought that's one of the things I brought, but it's going right back because I don't use uh, Laura Mercier anymore. And the shade is Translucent Honey. I definitely don't use that, but we move on. Y'all, y'all know how I was eyeing this the other day? I got it. I know I don't need it, but I got it. It smells so good. Um, I got the House Labs uh, oh, Glow Powder Highlighter. I need more highlighter because, y'all, this is the only highlighter I use. I have more in my um, vanity back home in Virginia. And ask me how many times I use the other highlighters. That's why I'm... When I moved here and I started getting my um, makeup for here, a setup for here, I didn't get any highlighter because this is the only one I use. The Anastasia uh, Sun Dip Glow Kit. Love it. You, my go-to. So I wanted to try something else out because like I said, hey, sale, why not? Um, but the House Labs uh, Bio Radiant Glow uh, Powder. Which shade is this? So I can show y'all and tell y'all. Fire Opal. Oh, look at the packaging. Okay, Lady Gaga. Oh, look at this, y'all. Because I seen a girl on TikTok. She used it with this. This highlighter with this blush from the Sephora collection. And all the other stuff is 20% off, but the Sephora collection is 30% off. So take, make sure you take advantage of the Sephora collection. I use the Sephora brushes. I love them. So look at this, y'all. So imagine this combo together. She had it on and it ate, y'all. Gotta hurry up because I just heard my food. So I got these. Everybody was talking about these, so I definitely wanted to try them out. Because I use the Laneige brand. This is their lip sleeping mask and this is their lip gloss. Love this, but everybody was talking about the uh, Ole Henriksen, is that how you say it? Uh, lip treatment, I got Cocoa Cream and Citrus Sunshine. Uh, there, uh, strawberries, everybody talks about strawberry, but obviously strawberries out of stock, which makes sense because everybody was talking about it. Y'all already know how people feel about the uh, Summer Fridays lip balm, so I wanted to try that out, why not? And then I heard good things about the, um, these are all lip products. The Anastasia Lip Velvet. Uh, I got Crush and Parchment. And then you can never go wrong with the Fenty Glosses. I always put it over my um, lip color. So I got Glass Slipper, Hot Chocolate, and Fenty Glow. Loved it. And I got another brow gel, cause just in case, I love that. Uh, and I got the NARS Soft Pack Matte Complete Concealer because I kept hearing people talk about this and I think it will go good with the foundation. But that is all I got today, y'all. And I'm about to go eat and now tap back in with y'all later. Hold on, y'all. And another thing, since we're talking about it, y'all know how I reviewed the Jackie Ina perfumes the other day. So it's been a few days. I have some thoughts. Let me go get them. I only wrap these three because these are the ones I can speak for now because these are the ones I wore so far. Because like I said, NDA, I want to wait for a date night or like a, because that is definitely giving grown and sexy. So I'm wearing that on a date night. That's why I haven't worn it yet. But these ones I have wore out and wore throughout the day. Hard to get in, you remind me, these were the ones that like I really wasn't gravitating towards the first days. Then that same day, after I did my first impression, that same day, Jackie Ina posted a video of how she layered these two. She layered these two and I was like, oh, let me try it. Maybe I'll uh, change my mind. Sorry, from last year, I had just washed my hands um, with that soap in the kitchen when I was making my lunch. But 
game changer. Layer on these two. Wore it the other day. I wore this combo today. And then um, I always loved I Am Her from the first impression. I wore it the other day. Smells so good. Even Dante was telling me throughout the day. All of these um, that I've worn, Dante would tell me throughout the day that I smell good. So she did her big one with these. Love them. See you later. All right, y'all. So I have, and this is the best it's going to get with this. I have put my new stuff in and kind of organized my makeup drawers. So all the setting sprays and setting powders and puffs are in this drawer, like the setting drawer. And then this drawer is going to have like all my foundations and concealers, so like basically face products. And then this one has my eyeshadows, highlighters, bronzers, and blushes. And I'm still working on my lip drawer because like this, don't judge, but those are the lip products and pencils. Like some of these lip products I don't use. This, these are the main lip products I use in this drawer. I got to do better, but I have to um, go pick up the mirror. So that's why I'm not done. And I still got to go through all these, but that's a work in progress. But this is what I got done so far. Hey, y'all. So I am on my way to go to the ATM uh, to get some money for my hair appointment um, tomorrow. She's strictly only cash, which I get it. Or whatever and it said it on her booking site so i already knew but she had just sent the um confirmation text and she put it in the text and i was like oh damn i forgot because i was supposed to go get some earlier but the day has like left me with all that's going on or whatever so i'm headed to get some now and sometimes when that happens i usually will stop on the way to my appointment but literally i'm going to another city to get my hair done so I'm not gonna be able to do that. My flight is early in the morning. Yes, I said flight because I was gonna drive, but then now I was like, I'm not about to um, make you drive or let you drive or whatever. I said, <laughs> say less. So my flight is early in the morning, so I'm getting it now so that I'll be prepared to just wake up, get ready, head to the airport, go get my hair done, and just come back. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Then I gotta go ahead to pick up the mirror from his aunt. Good morning, y'all. I know it's kind of dark, but I am literally headed to the airport to um for my hair appointment, basically. It is literally 5.52 a.m. Um, it's currently lightning right now, so I'm wondering if they're going to delay my flight because sometimes they do that with like their weather. They sort of wait for the weather to pass. But that's why I booked my flight so early, just in case anything happened. I didn't want to, because I was looking, because there was flights closer to my appointment. Where if you know, if you travel a lot, you know you cannot do something like that. You have to have enough time allotted for anything to happen. Especially with me doing something so thick, like flying somewhere to get my hair done, you know? It's not like... I'm in the city that I'm going to, you know, I'm literally traveling to that city. So, I made sure there was enough time in between, like, if the flight do get delayed or if something happens, I still will make my appointment on time. So, I'll see y'all when I get to the airport. Alright, y'all, I just got through security. It's really busy for a Tuesday. Don't know why. I don't know if I told you why I'm doing this. It's hard to find people here to do hair. I finally got a nail tech that I like and I'm gonna stick with now. So I have somebody do my natural hair, but it's like in braids. I have somebody do my natural hair in braids, but when it comes to wigs and extensions, still need to find somebody I trust here because natural hair is easy to get away with. Braids, cool. You can only mess it up with so much but lace and laying it where it don't live or it don't look wiggy or extensions don't look bulky it's gonna be hard but i'll see y'all when i get to the gate all right y'all so i made it to houston i'm waiting for my lift right now i'm gonna take a lift to like a cvs to get the hair dyed because she's gonna dye my bundles and then after that i'm gonna go get something to eat and then head to my hair appointment and see, this is what I was saying when I get 
here early because traffic. Traffic in Houston is always crazy. It's gonna take an hour just to get to the CVS. Like, that's crazy because of traffic. It would not take that long regularly, but traffic is the reason why it's gonna take that long. So, it's already 8.23. And it's saying I'm gonna get to the CVS at 9.36. So, I'll see y'all later. Hey y'all, so I came to give y'all an update. So, as y'all seen in the last clip, I had went to CVS and got the color, but just my luck, they only had two boxes. I need three boxes. So I ended up going to a Walgreens and another CVS to get the third box. Then I came to eat um, lunch at my, one of my favorite spots. It's called Chicken Salad Chick. They had it in Virginia, but they don't have it where I live now in Texas. They have it in Houston, but they don't have it where I live now. Is it windy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, sorry, that's Dante on um, FaceTime on my other phone. So I have about an hour into my um, appointment, so I'm just chilling right now outside the restaurant. Right, y'all so here's the final look i have to hurry up and go so i can make my flight but i just wanted to show y'all real quick i'll see y'all later landed headed to my car i don't know if y'all seen what i was trying to show y'all so i missed my flight and it was supposed to be at five because traffic and she started my hair later than she was supposed to or whatever so I ended up getting on another flight where it wasn't first class but it wasn't bad because like, like I showed y'all the row was empty so I was chilling and it was a short flight but I'm headed to my car I'll see y'all later y'all I made it to my car I am about to go it's humid here, bruh. I had to take off that jacket. Like, it was okay in Houston, but it's definitely humid here. Um, but yeah, I will see y'all when I get home. There's this big ass truck in front of me. No, there's a big ass truck behind me and then there's a Tesla in front of me. Not trying to hit the Tesla. Well, not trying to hit the truck either, but if I had to choose, I'm not gonna hit the Tesla. But like I said, I'll see y'all later. Good morning, y'all. I am headed to training. I got my hair tied up. It's off my neck. And I got on a sweat dude rag and a Nike sweat wrap. We'll see how my hair does. I watch uh, videos and I've been had these wraps and I watched them, I mean, looked at the reviews on them. So I think I should be good. They say like the key is to like leaving these on your head until your hair is completely dry. So my hair should be good, but we'll see y'all. I have high hopes or whatever, but I'll see y'all later. Hello friends, y'all have not seen me since I went to training. I am about to do my makeup because I am going out to dinner and to a comedy show with my last check, Charlie. We are going to see Desi Banks. Um, so I thought this would be a perfect time to use the new makeup products and brushes that I got from the Sephora sale to see how I feel about them, see how I like them, because this will be my time to do like a wear test. So I'm gonna do my makeup and I will 
come back and forth to show y'all what the new product is that I'm using and see how it goes on, see how I feel about it. Um, so I'll check in periodically and I'm going to be watching Real Housewives. Y'all should know by now, but I'll see y'all in a bit. I know I look crazy, don't judge, but if y'all have seen me do my makeup in the past, in the past video, y'all know that I use concealer on the bottom to conceal and I use foundation on the top to conceal. So first new product is my NARS foundation that I got from the uh, Sephora sale. So I'm gonna be using this and it's in the shade Aguacu. So I'm gonna use that and I'll be right back. All right, so there are the brows. So now I'm about to take the soft matte complete concealer and go in with my base. All right, y'all, now I am about to try the one size in the Huda setting powder. So let's see how it goes. All right, now I am about to bronze with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. Hey, y'all, so I can't finish showing y'all the products in the process because I was pressed for time. Here's the final look. I love it. I love the products. Still got to do a wear test. Like, literally, this is just me doing my makeup and wearing it now. But I love the foundation. It brings me back to when I used to use it heavily. But um, I'm still, I still have to work with the matte concealer. Because if it's already starting matte, and then you got to like, you know, if you're a makeup girly. But I'll see y'all when I get to the restaurant. Y'all, look who got me out on a Wednesday night. We like, it, it's late. <laughs> No, it's early. It is late. Up. And then guess what she gonna say? I got a bottle in the car. What? Dude, dude. <laughs> we got the we got the house. Okay, the kids is in the house. Yeah. We outside. You know I mean? <laughs> She's a mess. Period. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they know what niggas, boy. Yes and no. That's it, boy. <laughs> yes and no. You hungry? Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. <laughs> you wanna work? Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. You wanna go across the border? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. You by yourself, man? Yeah, well, you ain't got a girl that just, yeah. Hey, y'all. I'm finally back home. I'm tired as hell. But I just wanted to say that I had a great time and this is what the makeup looks like after. Like this is the wear test. I usually blot my makeup. I didn't blot at all tonight. So this is like with oils are like left over. It's not that bad. It's giving like glowy skin. So I say the makeup was good. I like the new products. I'm gonna keep working with them. See what techniques work and what don't. What, you know, cause different foundations require different primers so i'm gonna play around with it but for so far i love it i will see y'all tomorrow good morning y'all y'all know what time it is gotta go get this uh work done i don't know if i'm gonna record it or whatever i'm gonna go in and knock it out but i do have a session tomorrow so maybe um y'all can get some of that but i'll see if I see y'all in the workout, see y'all in the workout. If I don't, see y'all after. Y'all, I'm weak, so I'm at the gas station, right? And the lady was like, she walks up to me because I'm waiting for my gas to be done pumping. She said, she walks to me, she said, I just wanted to tell you that you smell like a party. You smell like a fiesta. And I was just like, I do? She's like, yeah. I was just like, oh, thank you. I didn't know what to say, thank you or what. <laughs> But y'all about to come with me to run errands today, so that's what we're going to do. We are almost 
us to our first destination, which is the place where me and Krista had painted pottery um, that one IRL stream we did on her uh, Twitch. Sorry for shaking y'all, it's the way this uh, highway is. But yeah, I'm excited to see how it turned out because we painted, but then they gotta put it in the kennel, kennel, is it kennel? Or ken? Whatever it's called, and fire it up and then it's done. So I'm excited to see how they turned out. But y'all, I have a question for y'all. Cause if you look at the last clip, what song do y'all like by a cancel artist that you can't just help but sing when it come on? Like the artist is canceled, but you can't help but sing it when it comes on. Let me know down in the comments. All right, y'all, y'all haven't seen me because all my other stops were a bus. Uh, couldn't get the shoes that Dante needed and couldn't get the things I needed. But now I am here at the alterations place to get my dress altered for a wedding we're about to go to next week. So I'll see y'all later. Hey y'all. So I am back from running my errands earlier. Sorry I had to put my hair up y'all because the leave out. I'm trying to protect the leave out. But picked up my stuff. Well our stuff from the pottery place. This is how my cup turned out. So you see it has my initials and how I tried to like do like the ombre. I think it turned out cute for me not being a professional. Uh, that's a big mug too. And here, I think this is so cute. My little lemon juicer. It looks so good, like Can't even tell I painted it. If I didn't tell you I painted this, this you would have thought I brought it from the store. That's how good it looks. And then I got my packages and all. Is there anything in the packages I need to show y'all? I don't think so. But let me check. Okay, y'all. There was nothing I needed or I, let me fix this. Yeah, I gotta fix this. There was nothing that I absolutely. Hold on, y'all. I ended up having to fix my scarf, so I took it off. There was something I absolutely needed to show y'all, but I think this would be cool to show y'all. This is a fan because we're going to a um, wedding next week and it's still in Texas and it's getting a little hot. And then I already know being around a lot of people, it tends to get hot. So I'm gonna get this little portable, well, I'm gonna get, well, I'm gonna bring this portable little fan with me. I think it's so cute. You just pull it up, it looks like a perfume bottle. And then you just pull it up and then it has five settings. But how many settings does it have? Oh no, it has three settings. So low speed lasts five hours, medium speed lasts three, high speed lasts an hour and a half. So just a little cute little one too. And I have a small bag, so it'll fit in my purse. And it's, it's pretty good for like the size it is. So yeah, that's that. Hey y'all, so I'm leaving training. I didn't even tell y'all I was going, but good morning. Leaving training, got it done. About to go home, take a shower and start my day. See y'all later. Hey y'all. Don't mind um, Demir in the background because Dante's not here. Be careful, bud. Um, but with the Sephora sale, it ends Monday and today is Saturday. So I was like, before it ends, I got to make sure I've gotten everything I wanted and needed and stocked up on. So I have been eyeing this product for... Hey for the longest and I was like, I'm going ahead and pull the trigger because why not? Because it's a sale and the regular price is already ridiculous. Y'all, I got the Dyson Air Wrap. This box is heavy, but I pulled the trigger and got the Dyson Air Wrap because of the Sephora sale. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it with y'all. I always wanted the purple one, but this is fine. This will do because like, how often am I gonna really use this thing unless I wear my wigs 
And the main reason I even pulled the trigger now is because I have this uh, sew in with my leave out. So here's the packaging it comes in. So it's blue, but they had this purple one that I have been eyeing, but I was just like, do I really need it? Do I, can I justify spending that much money on something on how often am I gonna use it? Just like I got a Dyson blow dryer. I don't use it that often. And imagine how many times, you know? But this number I got to sew in and I have leave out. Um, I don't wanna put that much heat on my hair and I don't know how to use a regular curling iron. That's another thing, like just buying heat tools and don't even really know how to use them. And I keep telling myself, I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna learn, and never really try. So I have like a wand curler, I have a curling iron, I have so many things that I barely even use. I use my hot comb and my flat iron because that's easy to do. Like I can flat iron my wigs all day. Um, but when it comes to curls, I'm not really good. But y'all, one, this sewing is holding up. I was so scared to get it, y'all, especially with leave out because I work out, but this is after me going to training for three days already. Like I worked out today and like, this isn't that bad. Uh, for the leave out portion. So I'm gonna just practice with this right now for one little section in the back of my hair. Cause I really don't want to do it right now because one, I'm not really, sorry, y'all already know about my um, scalp issue with the dandruff. So just disregard that. No, 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 no. But yeah, like I was saying, um, this still looks late for me to have worked out with it three days already. I have not put in any heat on it. I literally just tie it up and let it dry once I'm done working out. And then I put it in a bun and wear it to sleep like that. So when it still has some of the curls that the girl did originally. So like, I just wear it like this when I go out and that be that. But we're like I said earlier in the vlog, we're going to a wedding next weekend and I wanna judge my hair up. So this will be the perfect time to use this and learn how to use it and do it because I don't wanna put excess heat okay, um, on my hair. And I don't know how to use a curling iron, so. This one is the firm brush. This is the firm brush. Hold on, stay safe. This is the soft brush. This is the smoothing dryer. Round volumizing brush. If only y'all can see what he's doing right now. He is his father's child. So these are the long barrels. One is a 1.2 inch barrel and one is a 1.6 inch barrel. They are type of thickness. And lastly, it's the air wrap itself. You your daddy son. Hey, hey. He's smiling. But y'all like, I can't deny this still looks good. Like, it's giving silk press. It's the air wrap itself. Okay, and I seen a video that this up top, y'all, you can, uh, put the direction you want the curl to go. So for right now, just because of the chest, I'm just leave it how it is. So that's, and the blue button, I think it's that, they, what they say is the cool shot. Y'all, I'm so nervous. Right now, I'm gonna just put it on the second one and have it on the fan that it's on, so. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let it cook. Let it cook. Am I supposed to? Hold on. And then I'm going to do the, the pull shot. Do you, do you turn it? And y'all, 
this is me not even knowing what I'm doing. And look at that curl. Like, that's not even me knowing what I'm really supposed to do. And don't, aren't you splashy, bud? Aren't you supposed to hold the curl and then let it drop? Y'all, that is so pretty. But, like, this is the first impression, y'all. I'm a, when I do my hair, I might do a video for y'all. But this is just what this is right now, real quick. Little um first impression video. But I gotta go because y'all see him all in the background and he doing his own thing. See, I'll see y'all later. Hey y'all. If you see me like this, then you know that the fun and our journey has come to an end. But that's okay because you will see me in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this one. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe. See you later.